Greetings, comrades. Today I will show you my fine society, the Soviet Union. It was established in 1922 after the revolution and fall of the Tsar that was controlling our land. Today we have established a communist government and is led by me, Joseph Selsky. Now I will show you my fine city. This is the wall that protects the Soviet Union. Look at this beauty. The security patrolling it makes sure that only the finest things go in and out of the Soviet Union. Our security is quite fine in the Soviet Union and uh, you will always be safe. Which leads us to our next asset of the Soviet Union. What would any society be without protection? The Soviet Union has an army finer than any cell. It is called the Red Army. It protects our Union and all the citizens that live in it. The Red Army, along with the city wall, keeps pesky invaders out, such as the United Cells of America. <sighs> What about communication and delivery of mail and packages? Do we have a mail system? Indeed we do. That is why we have the Soviet Union Postal Service, also known as COPS. <laughs> Every home and building has its own address. And we deliver rain, sleet or snow. COPS delivers. Of course, every city needs power. As you see behind me, there is a power plant. This powers the Soviet Union. Although it appears to be electricity, on the ground there is nuclear energy at work. This powers our city in addition to electricity, and we haven't even had a power outage yet. Here we have a very nice factory. This is where the products are made for the Soviet Union for our citizens and the city. We also produce goods here to export from the Soviet Union. Also, our workers are paid a very handsome price, the same as the rest of all the workers in the Soviet Union. They are paid a whopping $7 an hour, $6 more than minimum wage. I'm sitting here in a living room in a home in one of the communities of the Soviet Union. Obviously, this is where our citizens live and where most of the activity takes place in the Soviet Union. The people living in our communist society obey our government, and we have strict enforcement of all our laws. Here we have a big pile of trash, but fortunately for the Soviet Union, we have a wonderful waste disposal program. It is known as the Soviet Recycling Utilization Department. Its acronym is CRUD. Very nice. Also, all our recycling is done with a special technique, also called uh, bonfires in the name of communism. This is a pretty cool. What you are probably thinking, though Dasser points out the obvious a lot, but where do you think these fine bricks came from? The Soviet Union brickyard, of course. That is where all the bricks used for construction are made. I'm sitting here at the conference table in the city hall where I, Joseph Selsky, run our fine communist society of the Soviet Union. This place is where all our laws are made and our orders are given. How great it feels to be a leader of the society of the Soviet Union. I, Joseph Selsky, hope that you have enjoyed our video on the Soviet Union. We hope that it has been very informative and we hope that you will move into our Soviet Union in the very new future. But uh, one thing that is very nice, I'm uh, appointed to the highest council. It makes me feel very, very nice makes me feel like doing something to celebrate. It makes me feel like partying. Yes, I like the sound of this music. It's very nice. It makes me feel like partying.
Communism. 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 Everything is shaking in my body because of communism in the Soviet Union. Every day in the Soviet Union is a party. Oh, yes. Very nice.